what's up y'all it's lee natural here and we are back with another hair video and i finally sound better i'm back um uh, feeling good now we are back with wiggins hair y'all this is one of my favorite favorite hair companies and today we got us some goodies from wiggins so i'm really excited i got a 13 by 4 24 inch 200 percent density um hd lace wig and the texture is water wave so i'm really excited because it's been a little minute since i had actual water waves so i was ready the hair on wiggins is just amazing i love the way their knots are very small i love how their lace is really stretchy i just love everything about wiggins it's just bomb like everything i went ahead and started to cut off the combs on the inside you don't really need the combs unless you wear your wig without a cap and you plan to stick the combs in your braids but those honestly are really not good for your hair and they can break your hair i don't really recommend putting them on your hair but if it's comfortable for you and it doesn't hurt your scalp be my guest go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots i went ahead and um put my bleach in there it's a 30 volume and i go ahead and stick this wig in the microwave cover it up for 30 seconds and it bleaches my knots so fast. Y'all give this a try and let me know what y'all think about it. It will definitely save you some time. And don't forget to take out those metal tube combs or you're gonna blow up your microwave, okay? I always start with my guys to be gel. I slick my edges back. Y'all, the hairline is going back due to the postpartum shedding. Yes, I done lost my whole edges. I do not put glue on my edges, so it's definitely not the wigs. Um, so yeah let me let me um get my oils together so i can grow my edges back out right quick but this hair is the bomb it's so full and fluffy and thick i always cut around to make it custom fit so because you know i'm a you know custom girl i love doing everything custom so i cut off the excess lace on the side don't forget to do that this is really beginner friendly like for people who are trying to learn how to do it themselves if they don't have the money or the time to get someone to do it for them definitely watch my videos and try to you know learn how to do it because if you go back and look at my first wig install on myself you can be like oh my god i could do it too so it's definitely possible and i've definitely gotten better i can definitely slay other people but i'm still working on myself it's like i can't get myself together as i can someone else it's weird i don't know why <laughs> um y'all already know i never have a flat top when it comes to my wigs my wigs will never lay flat because i have a weird shaped head okay i'm tired of repeating that I'm tired of telling y'all that but that's the truth okay but i was mad that my freaking hot comb broke so i couldn't hot comb the top and the sides i didn't get my hot comb till like three days after i had already put this on so i was like dang i didn't get to get it you know flat on that right side but Either way, it still came out bomb. This was so quick. I did one, I think two layers of glue. So yeah, it was pretty easy. Went ahead and cut my lace. I did everything I needed to do. And boom, everything came out bomb. Y'all stay tuned and let me know what y'all think about the ending results. And don't forget to check the links in the description box. I think I hit my baby. I think I gotta go breastfeed him, so. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think of this wig. And if you want this wig, let me know in the comments because it will be in the next sale. All right. I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye.